Good morning, beautiful people. Today is a school day. I was, so I was gonna make a coffee, but then I, I remembered that um, there's not really much left. I can, and I will make another one right now. I just do it in the, this is called a French press. I just make some hot coffee like down here, and then I fill the rest up with cold water, and then I put it in the fridge like it's cold brew but it didn't really coldly brew. I might have a coffee earlier in the day, but before then, because I'm dead, I'm gonna make a matcha cold brew mocha. Mocha matcha mocha. A cold brew matcha, a cold brew mocha matcha. Also, can I show you something embarrassing? It's not embarrassing. It's not embarrassing. I think I have a problem. Pumpkin spice, people. It's about to be fall and I'm never gonna be able to get them again. But if you're at the store and you're not able to get them now, it was not my fault. I have a class at 10 today. It, it's 10, it's 10.23. Yes, she's over there talking and yes, I'm listening to her. But she's talking about things that I already taught myself, so I don't, I'm doing okay right now and I need coffee. I think this French press is like the funnest thing ever. I wake up and I am excited to pour my coffee out of this fancy looking thing. There's a coffee ground that I'm really obsessed with right now. No, it's not that one. That one actually, there's no spice in that one. It's just pumpkin. And I, who wants pumpkin without the spice? Not I. Community coffee, sugar, dusted beignet. Holy guacamole, people. If you go to the store and you like community coffee, get this stupid coffee because it's stupid, ridiculously good. And I just put a little bit, I'm not, I don't really measure. I just put an eyeball amount. I don't, I don't, I love like flavored coffees, but every time I smell them, I'm like, I don't really, where it just smells like coffee. I don't smell the flavor. This one smells like a freaking, Sugar dusted beignet and hot, hot water. Oh God, why does it pour like that? No. That was dramatic. Where are the paper towels? Why are they always gone? Is that a common theme in y'all's house? Every time I need paper towels, they're not there anymore. Is that just my household? Who runs off with the paper towels? And now we let this steep like tea. On to matcha. We had a little intermission because I had to go back to class. But now I'm making class. I'm making matcha in class because I need some something. Normally this is more aesthetic because I'm not using a Pyrex glass, but I can't put my other glass things in the microwave because my cute little jars are not microwave safe. That was a lot of water. I'm just looking at, why the heck did I make so much water? Man, Brosis, what was I doing? I was like, oh yeah, that's enough. That's the right amount of water. No, it was not. Ice from the ice maker milk an awful matcha ratio oh i'm just so out of order today i'm sorry jeez louise i am i'm not doing anything right i left hardly any room for the actual mocha it tastes bomb but it's not cold mocha Cold brew, because I didn't know this, but matcha and mocha are good flavor combinations. It looks like throw up, but, and now I need to go back to class. I'm starving though. Since I messed this up so much, why not just add a little bit of pumpkin spice? What am I doing? 
Ready? Ready? Here's lunch. Here's lunch. Impossible chip nuggets. I eat them every day. It's not my fault if you can't find them in stores. I was just talking about how dead I was, and now I'm a little bit. I have goosebumps. See you after class. As a child, I despised ketchup. Well, until like this year, I despised ketchup. But it makes chicken nuggets, or it take it makes fake chicken nuggets taste really good. It's 12.45, I have a class at three, so I'm gonna sit on my couch and edit my YouTube videos. I have one assignment that I had to do today, I know, shocking, but I'm gonna do more of tomorrow's assignments, so I have less to do tomorrow. So yeah, like, I would like to show you, but like, this is what I'm doing right now. Caffeine consumption numero dos. So I'm gonna put clothes on. I was thinking just some straight leg jeans. I actually despised at the way these fit on me. I haven't worn these in a while. I don't like them. They're better. They're they're not great, but they're better. Um, they're very tight around my waist. I don't like the feeling. Zippered yoga pants. I hate this too. I'm not in a good mood. I can't find my zip up at the moment. Do I leave my hair down? I don't really like it, but. Some days getting dressed is just not the move. And I don't, sometimes getting dressed is just not something that I can do. And I don't feel confident or comfortable with any aspect of my body. And that's okay. I'm literally going to die in this, but I don't care. Some days it's just hard to get dressed and you don't like how you look and you don't like how clothes feel in your body. And that's okay, and that happens to everyone, and that one happen that literally happens to everyone. I just said that. And today it's happening to me, and that's okay. Because it's okay to not love your body and love how clothes fit every second of every day. That's when you get to wear other things, like a big sweatshirt. And a big sweatshirt does not equal insecurity. It's just something that is helpful with people that do get insecure. I'm already hot. One more time now. If this oversized shirt fits better than the other one did, it's wider and it makes it feel less conjoining. Is that the right word? Conforming to my body. Okay, this works. Whoa. Oh my god. What a weird shadow. I was like, I don't really feel like I, I don't feel like wearing any jewelry. You know what? This is it. This is all I'm doing. I'm going to put some Converse on and I'm going to call it a day because we're not going to do anything special. Who even said that? I didn't say that.